change anyone else. Lower your expectations. <laughs> For yourself, you have an obligation, in thought, mind, and deed, to be the greatest thing in the world. Be nothing less than that. The greatest thing that you can possibly be. Who knows what that is? I'm still trying to figure it out. Anyone else have anything to say? <laughs> really? Uh, except that it's so great to be here. We have one more thing to do. Um, but I'd like to thank the quintet of fantastic musicians. <laughs> This is our last show, so you want to thank our amazing crew who helped us. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Deborah is uh, the video designer, and Sarah is the light designer. Uh, this show is as much better as always. LP2! That's Nico, that's Bryce, that's James. And I'm Steve. It's great to be here. If you've been paying attention, we have one more planet to go. It's planet Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> Can you tell us about your Sigourney Weaver obsession? I'm doing press for this project, and and uh, you know you get this this inevitable question, which is. What's your first memory of outer space? And you know, <laughs> instead of being like, that's the dumbest question I've ever heard, you say, well, you know, and you tell the truth. And the truth for me was that the first memory of outer space and my first erotic memory are the same thing, which is, which is Sigourney Weaver in her panties in that crazy locker in space at the end of Alien. Weirdly, the second earliest sort of erotic memory is when Kathy Bates hobbled that dude in misery. <laughs> so, uh, don't know, but yeah. Um, this one's for Sigourney. <laughs> it's a whole entirely different kind of space. That's, I mean, that's between me and Dr. Rosen, yeah. basically, but it's like... It's... You can talk about that in your safe space in psychiatry. Let's do this. <laughs> Now I 